All right, in this video, we are going to create another display ad, but this one is going to be a Gmail ad. Okay, so we're going to specifically target people's inboxes, which is so powerful um, if, you, uh, if you understand how to do it, which I'm about to show you. And the other cool thing about it is it's really, really cheap. Like it's very, very uh, cost effective and you can be very specific again. And what's really crazy is you can target people's inboxes based on the things that they have been typing in their emails. Okay, so yeah, Big Brother's around and Skynet is definitely real, uh, but it tracks everything. So you can actually, if someone has typed in new opportunity or business opportunity, you could specifically target people that, that, have, that have typed that in their emails and it will show up in their email inbox. It's crazy. So anyhow, let's get started on this one because it's kind of cool. So if you watch the other display when it's similar, uh, we're going to choose it without a campaign. We're going to choose display. And instead of standard, we're going to click on Gmail campaign. Now the website we're going we're gonna to stick with is the free book that I've got. So I copy that and I paste it. I click continue. And we're going to do that. Uh, Gmail, I'm just going to leave it at Gmail 8. Conversions stay the same. Language is English. I'm going to go in the United States. I'm going to spend uh, five bucks a day. Okay, if you look at this too, additional settings. Um, just so you know what this is, in um, because it comes up in a couple ads, but ad rotation is if you have multiple ads, it will put the best performing ones. So you always want to leave optimized, uh, you know, set. And then ad schedule, maybe you don't want your ads to run. Um, you only want them to run Mondays through Fridays, uh, you know, and you put the times in there. So from 1, 1 a.m. to, you know, old, uh, what is that, uh, 8 or 9 p.m. You put that in there. And then you end dates, uh, end date, not, uh, you know, if you want to set it so where you are specifically uh, stopping it, you could do that. But I don't, I don't typically do any of these things. Devices, I always show on all devices uh, when it comes to most of these ads. If you wanted to, you could click on that and it would, you can opt out of one. So if I only wanted it to show on computers, I would just leave that one checked and uncheck the other ones. Okay, so show on all devices. And dynamic ads, we don't want to do that. So that's really um, some things if you clicked on that. Uh, where did it go? I got to close them all out if I did it. Anyhow, so uh, you just kind of can skip over that. So create your ad group is basically I've shown you how to do this a few times now. But um, here, here's the thing right here is it says people who you want to reach to target all Gmail users. Don't add targeting for keywords, audiences, or demographics. I actually do want to target people based on the words that they've typed. Um, so if I use keywords here, I'm going to drop this down. And based again on the website that I had, you'll see that it gave me uh, it automatically Google populated the popular ones. So I might add MLM leads, how to get good leads for network marketing. Boom. Now, this one's money for me. How to build a network marketing business quickly. OK, I mean, if you think about it, let's go over here to my book. I'm basically how to quickly generate leads, easily recruit, create good duplication. So this one is about as good as I would want it to be um, for what I'm doing. Okay, so I would go through and I might I might just kind of scroll through and see if there was anything that really didn't make sense for me. Uh, book marketing might not, but I'm gonna everything else does. So I'm gonna add all the ideas and then I'm gonna go over here and just delete those last three out. So boom, they're gone. Okay, so that's kind of cool. So I've got these are the keywords that if somebody had typed these in or these are the types of search things. Uh, that they're looking for, um, you know, uh, people that have typed these types of things in there. You can see over here is 120,000 uh, impressions that would go into Gmail accounts that people have typed these into their emails. Okay, uh, pretty crazy. Now, if you start, here's the other, here's the other thing I want to talk about. If you add keywords and audiences and demographics, you really, really uh, drop that down uh, to the point that you can't even hardly. Uh, that, it, that it really, really narrows it down. Okay. Now you can do that. And in some, sometimes I will test one where I might add some keywords 
and then I'll go into and I'll look at the ideas as well and I'll go down and see where we got if there's any network marketing stuff in here I don't see any else but maybe some sales and marketing and we'll see how that affects it so it, it dropped me down a little bit I kind of want to keep it a little more broad so I'm gonna drop it out there and go back because I would have dropped I would have edited edited myself out of a hundred thousand people okay so I leave that like that and then my cost per click that I'm willing to uh, pay for is let's say we're gonna go ten cents okay and we'll do that so based on that with five dollars a day at ten cents a click uh, I potentially could get between 290 690 uh, you know clicks to my website well I'll, you know that's that's really really good for five bucks okay because if some of those people would convert which my ad you know my page seems to be doing that's really good stuff so let's talk about creation of this ad now so this is what people are going to see and you click on that button you can pull it up and you got Gmail ad okay so here's what the previews look like basically you've seen these you know uh, I'll bring that up a little too much but you know you've got uh, this is on a mobile device here and you can obviously see the preview when you click on computer what it would look like here and I'm gonna I'm gonna build it out and I'm gonna show you what it looks like okay so let me take my time so you can see what I'm doing with the business name because I want it to be kind of personalized I'm gonna put me Mike Healy on here and then when you click you'll notice that as soon as I've done that it automatically does it in real time so you can get a really good example headline um, uh, learn network oops got spelled right learn network market okay now I want to point this out to you real quick you see here the 10 out of 20 I have 10 characters including spaces of the 20 allotted otherwise it will get to be red like if you see if I added more characters it turned red and it, w it wouldn't be there you, if you didn't see that I just pointed at my screen with my finger <laughs> anyhow obviously you didn't see it okay remember I showed you in one of the previous videos about this little um, caution button coming up let's just add the s there and that goes away okay now learn network marketing description uh, I got more words here to deal with okay get a get a free copy of my best selling book on building a massive network marketing business boom and I and I stayed under it okay so you can see here this is what it looks like learn network marketing get a free copy of my best-selling book and then here it would be a little bit you know on the mobile there okay that would be so this is the headline and when somebody clicks on it this is what they're going to see now let's look at what they're going to see all right so we're going to add some assets here this is where sometimes it gets confusing even for me and I've done it a bunch of times you do have the option of adding a video now what's cool is if you add a video the video is going to actually go right here and I'm going to do I'm going to show you that but we're going to go with images first now what's cool is it will actually automatically go to your website and scan for images if it uh, sees fit Okay, or you can upload images you can you look at recently used stuff that you've had and I'm actually going to use this one right here because I've already uploaded it and that's going to actually be my logo so I want to have that as my logo I click save and you see that it now uh, that's the small image right there I want them to see who I am in case they look me up online um, and let me let me throw this tip out to you real quick is you want to kind of try to keep some of your images uh, fairly congruent or the same across a lot of your me social media platforms like this is the same image that's on my Facebook page it's the same image that's on my YouTube channel it's the same images on my Gmail account so that they know they're in the right place every time they do it okay you don't want to get too fancy and change it up all the time because then you don't have any brand recognition okay just to make it make it simple okay now the other thing I have an option of here is this is there's is this little pencil here if I wanted to add a video I could click this and I'm going to do that I'm gonna show you um, I could click it and it was gonna it's gonna add the video here if I wanted to add just an image here I click on uh, this right here and you'll see I already uploaded this image earlier and I'm gonna use it as my marketing image and it's already sized correctly landscape and I click continue 
and save. You see how it loaded right there? Check that out. That's sharp. Learn network marketing. So really what happens is in their Gmail account, they go in and they see that this came out and they learn network marketing. They got that they saw the ad because I you know, I there they typed in something that I targeted. When they clicked on this to open up a normal email like normal, they would have this and they would see it. Now, what's cool about this couple options is you can see if I hover over this, it's actually, uh, I'm pretty sure it's a live preview. I would click on it and it would take me, uh, yeah, it would take me to this page right here, okay? So I can, that, that actually shows me what link it's going to. And same thing right here, there's a call to action, okay? So let me show you this real quick. Um, where is it? More options, okay. So now I don't like visit site because I want them to do something. I want to, I want to, I don't want them to visit site. I want them to download now. So I click on more options. I'm going to change the call to action. And my call to action is going to be download now. Boom. So that basically says that it came to their inbox. They see it. And if they click on it, it takes them to this page where they're going to download and uh, and hopefully opt in okay so that's the purpose now let me go back here and i'm going to take this out it removed the image and now i want a video in there instead so i pulled up a video in case you didn't know you can do this but if you mouse over any youtube video and you right click uh, you can actually pull some stuff on here you can copy the URL. If you ever get to a real long video and you got some section you always wanted to show somebody, but you don't want to try to tell them where it's at, you can actually copy it at the URL time. But anyhow, copy URL, and then I go back to the ad, click on videos, and I pop, pop it in here. This is the one, it makes sense. I click it, I click save, and check that out. So now I've got learn network marketing, get a copy of my best selling book, and if they clicked on this, this video would play. That's the video, so it, should, it just redirected. It doesn't, it doesn't redirect to YouTube, uh, but because it's this link is in here, that's what that's what it's going to do. Okay, but right now I might have a video that's saying, "Hey, I got a, you know, this is a copy of my best-selling book. Uh, you know, thousands of people have downloaded it already. I'm offering it for free. Just click on the button below, and you can go uh, get your free download. And you click on it and download." These, I absolutely love Gmail ads because they're so cheap, they're so sneaky, they get into your inbox pretty quick, I'm sure you've seen them, and you can kind of put your name in front of people uh, more and more often, you know, in their inbox, and most people know that they're, they're doing that, uh, you know, without really being too intrusive, but at least getting people's attention, and the cool part is you can rotate ads. So you could target people with a different ad. You, they see your name, and now you're offering maybe um, a, a video series instead of a book. Maybe you're offering a free webinar, and you can do that. Okay, uh, real t quick, you can also uh, you can check to see what that looks like on computer. So if somebody was in a computer on a computer, this is what it would look like. Uh, you know, if they clicked on the ad, it opens this up, and this is what this looks like right here. And we'll just leave it on the phone. Okay, so it's real, real simple uh, to do that. I've got all this, it's done. I add all these things to my ad group. So this ad group is done. Okay, if I wanted to create another ad group, I could do that or another ad within that, that, that group, I could do that. I click create campaign and we are up and running and for five bucks a day, I have the ability to potentially hit 120,000 people. Even if those people are seeing it in their inbox, the cool part about it is if they are, uh, let me see if I can, if they are seeing this in their inbox, I'm only going to be charged. You, you are only going to be charged if they click on it. Okay. So that's kind of a cool thing is, uh, you know, you're only, um, you know, getting, if they click on it, that that's, that's, that's how you get charged. Okay. So, so they can see it, see it, see it, see it. So you're first in front of them. They see your information and so on. And, um, you know, that's a really, really good thing. So love Gmail ads. Gmail ads are cheap, inexpensive, um, and effective. And, you know, you can dial them in. And obviously, again, you can always uh, track everything in the back office, uh, you know, when you look at your Google ads to see what we got going on here. So uh, uh, hopefully you like that one and uh, we'll keep them rolling. So uh, hopefully stay with me because we're going to make you 
we're going to get you down to, you know, a science on this stuff and you'll, you'll be uh, dangerous with it. So anyhow, see you on the other videos.